Saint Augustine. We're in Saint Augustine. Port Augustus. <laughs> we left. We just left Saint Andrews, and now we're in Fort Augustus. As we were driving up our driveway. Um, a bunny led us to where we were supposed to go and there's two ducks in our backyard and dad has already been feeding them crackers so I have to show y'all you should give them names I'm gonna feed them one <laughs> that smells so funny <laughs> so funny so we've just left the boys they are having a very fun day. I'm so excited for them because they're getting to golf all day. And me and mom, we're having a girl's day. So, um, we were just sitting down deciding what it is we're gonna do. So we're going on a little road trip. We're gonna try and find some coos, um, which are the long-haired cows. I'm so excited about it. We're probably gonna go shopping, get some coffee. Um, yeah, and mom is crushing it, driving on the left side of the road in a big van. <laughs> Scotland has some nice breezes. Yes. It will cool you off. Mess up your hair. It'll refresh you. Now, I think, well, are we going to find some lunch? I think so. We're gonna go find some lunch. Hey guys, so me and mom just got some really yummy, super sweet waffles super for lunch. Sweet. Super <laughs> sweet. Yes, like, oh, oops, they were so good and so sweet. And so our bellies are full and our sweet tooth is satisfied. And so now we are going to go back and find our van and we're going to go sightseeing. Guys, I feel like I'm in a field of gold. Look at how beautiful is God not so good. This was on mine and mom's girls day bucket list was getting to be in a field of gold. And here it is. It's so beautiful. So me and mom are now back at the Castle Stewart golf course. Um, and we're waiting on our fellas. So we have we got this really cool seat where we can see out the window. I'll show you all here in just a second. You can see out the window, so we're going to be able to see when Josh and Dad and Nolan all get to their 18 pole, which we're so excited about because we get to cheer them on. We get to see them. So we're figuring out where we're going to go for supper. Thirty. Where are we going? The White Bridge. We're going to the White Bridge for supper. So we're really, really excited. The sweet, one of the sweet workers here is helping us find a good place. Um, it's fun asking the locals where is a good place to go. Yeah. Me and mom are just here chilling, and this is our view. We we're waiting to see you guys come up over the hill, and you can watch them play their eighteen hole. So we're getting ready for bed and um, we just played a round of cards and I'm just so thankful for my family. This time is so, so sweet, especially being in college the last four years and living 16 hours from home, um, except for on holiday breaks, um, such as summer and Christmas and stuff. I've missed them. So as far as this trip, I haven't seen them in like five months. So 
this trip is like super super special and I'm just cherishing this time um but yeah we're all we're all getting ready for bed but I wanted to leave y'all with an encouragement um as we wind down our day this is something that I read this morning in the word and I've been thinking on it all day long so I'm currently in the book of first John and I during this trip I've been at the end of first John chapter 3 and this like going through first John chapter 4 and it's so good and I've kind of been going just two verses a day and so today I was sitting in and meditating on first John chapter 4 verses 9 through 10 so it says God showed how much he loved us by sending his one and only son into the world so that we might have eternal life through him this is real love guys we're all craving love we're all craving the real kind of love the real deal and here in the word we find out that God is love and his love for you and me is the real deal his love who he is is what we are all craving he made us for himself he planted eternity within our hearts he made us for his glory he made us to be in relationship with him he made us for love which is why we crave it and here we read that God loved us so much by sending his one and only son Jesus into the world so that we might have eternal life through him and this is real love not that we loved God, okay? It's not something that we can boast in, not something that we did to earn, not something that we did enough of to make happen. No, the real love is not that we loved God, but that He loved us and that He sent His Son as a sacrifice to take away our sins. The real love is God loving us by demonstrating it perfectly through sending His one and only Son, Jesus. And I'm just so relieved in that, that I just think of Ephesians 2, where we read that for it is by God's grace through his, through our faith in him that we are saved. And it is not by our own works that we can boast, but it is a gift of God. And by this gift that we receive, it then produces within us a love that only can come from him and um, that reminds me of what I read yesterday because whenever we read this about the real love that is of God, not that we first loved him, but that he first loved us, there's a response to that. And it relates to what I read yesterday in verses 7 through 8 where John writes, Dear friends, let us continue to love one another for love comes from God. His love is the real deal. Anyone who loves is a child of God and knows God. Why? Because his, he is love and he's the real deal. But anyone who does not love does not know God, for God is love. And um, what's really, really cool here is, like I said, whenever we know the real love of God and whenever we are walking with him and whenever we know him who is love and we are his child, our life looks different. Jesus says that people will know that you belong to me. People will know that you are my disciple by your love. And love is not always easy. Love is patient and kind. It's not self-seeking. It's It requires us to not operate out of our flesh and out of the desires of the world, the lust of the eyes, the lust of the flesh, and the pride of life. It requires us to walk in step with the Spirit, denying ourselves, picking up our cross, and following Jesus, and loving others well. It requires of us um, to love, not because, let me put it this way, to love others well is not determined by how people treat us or by how people um, respond to us, but it is determined by God who is love. We love because he first loved us. And so, yeah, that's what I've been thinking on and been filled with gratitude for over the last couple of days on this trip. And so I wanted to share that with you guys as just some nighttime encouragement before we wind down our day here in Scotland. Um, God's love for you is the real deal and this love that he showed us through sending his one and only son Jesus to take away our sins that we might have eternal life through him um, and through that it it 
leads us to then love others and let it be unconditional to love others without without any agenda not because they treat us a certain way but because we know how god has treated us when we didn't deserve it and that's the determining factor of how we treat them yeah just sharing some of my thoughts with you but i love y'all a whole lot signing off for the day but we have a super fun day tomorrow and i'm so excited Today we are heading to the Isle of Skye. And it's going to be beautiful. Before us today, we've got a castle, we've got a hike, we've got lots of pretty things in nature. We are pumped. It's going to be fun. Mm -hmm.